This is beautiful. Well, not this particular cube. I don't even know what game this one belongs to. I, I think I found it on the floor. Anyways, cubes are great. They're the underappreciated workhorses of board game pieces. We all know that hexagons are the best -agons. I mean, look at this. If it's one unit of movement to go from one square to another, then what are you supposed to do with diagonal movement? If you remember your Pythagoras, you'll know that the distance is the square root of two. Do you make that one point of movement, giving it a power boost? Or do you not allow it, making this four points of movement when it's really about 2.8? A hexagon, no matter where you go, is one consistent unit of distance. Group a bunch of them up like this, and you've just made another hexagon. Hexagons are the best, but only when it's a plane. In three dimensions, cubes rule. Let us count the ways. First, cubes are easy to pick up. Even my uncoordinated flesh mitts have no problem with it. I can pick up a whole bunch at once, no problem. Second, they're easy to count. Visually distinct and regular in shape, there's no mistaking cubes for anything else. The ability to recognize how many items are in a group without actively counting is called subitizing. I don't have any proof of this, but I feel like it's easier to subitize cubes than nearly any other piece. Third, cubes don't get in the way of things. Minis are fun, but they often block information you want to see on the board. Cubes are low profile, so you can read the board state quickly and easily. Fourth, Cubes don't go anywhere. Look at these through the ages pieces. They're all over the place. This is a travesty. Fortunately, in the following edition, CGE fixed this largely with cubes. Fifth, you can't place a cube down wrong. I mean, try it. Every side is the same. You can't mess up. This is elegant design. Sixth, it's easy to attach meaning to a cube, precisely because of its ubiquitousness. A single solitary cube, perhaps a touch on the larger side, can be a vicious enemy blocking your goal. A whole bunch of cubes can be a swarm or great riches. But Mark, you say, aren't objects that physically resemble what they represent more evocative? Maybe, but are they worth the trouble? When I'm playing dominant species, I'm not thinking about cubes. I'm thinking about those stupid spiders that always eat me or the birds that annoyingly fly everywhere when I don't want them to. I mean, do you require all of your books to have illustrations? Cubes let the imagination work. Finally, cubes are cheap, affordable, and portable. I don't hate fancier pieces, but I'd hate for an aspiring game designer to think that their game needs metal and plastic sculpts to meet the minimum standards for entry into our hobby. There's no shame in cubes. They're not lesser than. In many ways, they beat out all of their competitors. Cubes are beautiful.